All right, I'm doing a video on this because I'm too lazy to type a damn article for the time being and because I don't want to stuff it on my Instagram story and have it disappear and have to do this again. So I'm going to record this once so that way I can have it as a reference. Now, let's address something. I always get the question, how much protein can I absorb, so on and so forth, or I hear people flat out say, you can only absorb so much X protein per meal. So first and foremost, it's important to understand exactly what you're referring to when you talk about absorption. A lot of times, as it turns out to be, people misconstrue um, the results of one study and carry it across for everything. Specifically, this all stems uh, from like the myth of you can only absorb 25 grams of whey protein per meal or at a time is from the data uh, that suggests about maximum protein synthesis. Okay, so leucine, which is the primary amino acid that has the anabolic effects when you ingest protein, has about a top off of about three, some people say four grams. Okay, so basically any amount from zero up to, let's say four grams, is going to have an anabolic effect with an inverse relationship. The more leucine you ingest, the higher the anabolic effect and the greater uh, response to muscle protein synthesis, aka muscle building and the rate. However, Anything above that, there is a point of diminishing returns where anything above four grams of leucine at one time isn't going to have any more anabolic effect than if you use that cap of four grams. So basically, people are taking that four gram roughly limit, carrying that across, and saying that you can absorb more than 25 grams of protein at a time. That's not the case. Okay? So, with that being said, you can and you will absorb any and all protein that you eat. So yes, if you sit down and eat 100 grams of protein at once, like say four scoops of whey protein isolate, you will absorb it. You just won't have more necessarily anabolism just from ingesting the extra protein, okay? The next thing that you have to also consider too is there's not one size fits all sometimes where it comes to protein for maximizing that muscle protein synthesis. If you're talking about something like whey, okay, it's about 12% of the total amino acid content is Leucine. So in that case, you need, if it's a pure whey protein isolate, you have to have 25 grams of whey protein isolate, actual protein content at 12%, that's about 25 grams. <clears throat> Interestingly, if you have a whole food source or something with a different amino acid profile, I'll talk about the number one for most of us, chicken, that's got about an 8% leucine content. Therefore, that means you can ingest about 50 grams of protein from chicken at once. And that equates to about four grams of leucine, and you'll max, still have maximum protein synthesis for up to 50 grams of chicken. Protein, protein from chicken, okay? So those of you saying, oh, that more than six ounces of chicken or at whatever, 25 grams of protein from chicken, it doesn't equate to 25 grams of whey protein isolate, if you follow, okay? So based on, for the muscle protein synthesis response, it only refers to the leucine content. So different sources of protein have different amounts of leucine percentage. So that's another thing to consider. So what may necessarily be true for the cap on maximum protein synthesis response, like whey protein, that doesn't necessarily apply to chicken or eggs or uh, any other source of protein. Different proteins break down at different rates, and that can be due to having other sources of uh, macronutrients, whether it's fiber, fats, um, those can slow absorption. And just different source of protein just could simply broken down slower. Think of stuff like casein. Okay, mycelocasein forms mycelas in the stomach. It has a, a gelling effect, okay, that it releases amino acids at a slower rate. So there's not one size fits all answer for it. So back to the main topic here, aside from muscle protein synthesis itself being the main, I guess, calling card for why people think that muscle protein synthesis or protein absorption is capped at a certain amount, that's not the case. You will in fact absorb all the protein you eat in one way or another. So now, um, taking this two directions. One of them is that excess protein, most people think that, oh, um, you know, you're going to have a damage to the kidneys, you're just going to pee it out, whatever, so on and so forth, excrete it. Well, that's not the case. And here's interesting why. Protein has a satiating effect. And the reason for this is that pro excess protein through all different processes is excreted as urea. It's not excreted as a straight up amino acids and protein. The thing about urea is the body can only produce it at such a high rate because otherwise if it's produced too quickly, the body can become toxic. So therefore the body will actually slow down the breakdown of protein even more so because it has to have past that, you know, excess quote unquote point 
uh, for urea production to keep things level, it has to slow down the absorption. So therefore, if you're ingesting a large amount of protein, you're not used to it, your body may only be able to produce urea to excrete the excess protein at a certain rate, you're gonna feel more full. Um, some people get bloating if they increase the protein co too quickly, they just can't process it properly. Um, there's different things you can do to stack that deck in your favor. Um, anabolics, having more muscle tissue, all these can change the dynamics, how much protein your body's gonna be burning through, okay? There's also the thermic effect of protein, about 20% of it is uh, broken down and burned when it comes to even digesting it. So that's another thing to keep in mind as well. So your body will absorb it. There's urea factor, because so it's urea. So you're not just pissing out protein, you don't have just have expensive pee. But that's also where the satiating effect comes from. So protein slows absorption, you feel fuller, because it takes time to break down that protein in high amounts, okay? Plus the thermic effect. Last but not least, let's talk about gluconeogenesis. That's basically the liver converting non-carbohydrate um, sources into glucose to be used as energy sources. Um, so while you may not be getting the effect of the um, anabolic response when it comes to the leucine or the amino acids having muscle protein synthesis effect or maybe driven to muscle cells, your body can and will utilize these nutrients that have an anabolic effect in most synergy from gluconeogenesis, okay? It's a very expensive process. It's a pain in the butt for your body to have to convert all this crap. That's why it has a preferred method of ingesting glucose for energy. The body loves carbohydrates. Okay, that's not a, this isn't going to take a turn in the keto um, delve here. And that's a whole nother video on gluconeogenesis. But in summation, your body can and will absorb and utilize all the protein you give it. Okay, your body maximizes protein synthesis. Let's say the roughly four gram mark. Some people go as low as three, between three to four. I'm not gonna sweat a gram difference. You wanna have a safety net, go with four. Okay, the other key point, different sources are gonna have different amounts of leucine. Therefore, the maximum amount of protein you can ingest from different sources will be different to still have that dose response effect. Once again, comparing 25 grams of whey, 12% leucine, to 50 grams of chicken at 8% leucine. So I believe off the top of my head, the math there, uh, the 12%, uh, the 25 grams of whey is about the three gram mark versus the 50 grams from chicken at 8% is about four grams, both within a window. So a quick video. So that way I have this all in one place and answer this question. I'm tired of seeing this myth. I'm surprised it's still around. People are freaking out like, oh, you don't need more than 25 grams of protein a meal or it's wasted. Well, yeah, there's a lot of different factors there. So keeping it shorter, I'm just under the 745 mark. Hope that answers your question. Have a good day.